Right, so here's this video then. This is the quad cortex in front of a Metaboogie California Tweed. I'm recording with an Origin Spirit mic into like a Neve style preamp. This was because some people were asking about how effects might sound into the amp and then I'm also going to try and do a capture of the dude and compare that going into the front of the California Tweed with a loop so that you don't get like differences in the playing. So that's like the fairest way I could see to do that. So anyway, in theory, this should be making sound now. Oh no, it shouldn't. It should be output three and four. So that's the dry signal. I don't know if there's like a bypass mode, so I can't show you what a completely um, clean tone into the California Tweed might be like. Um, there's a chance that this is colouring the tone slightly. I can't really control for that. So uh, let's add in um, a delay, a simple delay. Cool, and the thing that I guess most people are interested with in this kind of sense is like a drive. So I'm gonna put that up there. Turn the mix of the delay down. So this is the Boss OD1. Let's just turn the mix down again. Um, let's change that for something else, maybe a Tube Screamer. Um, I will eventually, I'll go on to that Friedman B OD just so you can get sense of that as well. Uh, so here's a Tube Screamer. Crank the gain up a bit. change this to like a clon. Here's a clon. also get a bit spiky with this particular amp uh, what was I just doing so change the device let's try it with this freedom BOD this I'm gonna imagine is gonna be super spiky um, just because of the nature of that pedal on this amp. yeah so right let's just take things down a bit take the trim pot down boost the mids uh, that's the bass so boost we don't have a mid control Okay, super. So, it's a bit more usable like that. So you could obviously take the treble down if you'd like.
So that's uh, just a, a little snippet of what those sound like. Let's just put on the um, fuzz. This. What I'm going to do is maybe stick another drive after that because that would be what I might do in the real world. Just turn the key down a bit on that. That's the sound of the, the stock drives. Uh, obviously there's lots more you could do with that. What I'm now gonna do is try and capture the dude. So if we go into new neural capture, plug your instrument into return one. So now that that process is done, I want to try and do this in sort of the fairest way I can think of. I think that's going to be putting the dude into the loop. There will be other ways that you might want to do this. So I'm going to add the capture in here. And so that would be scene one. And then this scene, I'll have that bypassed. And then I'll have the effects loop one here. So that will have the dude, right? So let's just try that without the looper a sec and see what happens. Obviously I got those the wrong way around. Good dark no. Right, that one needs bypassing there. So clearly a level difference, not sure why that is, so we're going to take the volume down. Again that needs to come down still. Still needs to come down. So I'm just going to uh, record a small loop.
that's kind of that test. Let me know what you think of that, whether that's a fair test. I think that's the fairest way that I can think to do this, which isn't going to introduce my own playing as the main kind of variable there. Is it close enough for you? Let me know in the comments. Is there something else that I should have tried with this? Um, but that's going into the front of an amp, and for me, that's the way where you can normally find most revealing, you know, the sound of these, the capture versus the dude going into a, a modeler, generally is going to be a little bit less obvious to tell what the differences are. Going into a real amp like this is generally pretty revealing. So, um... know do you think it needs to be closer or yeah let me know what you reckon I'm not only going to be doing videos about quad cortex this is just a little phase to try and get out some of these videos that, that people might have had questions about um, hopefully it's helping one or two people and showing kind of what the quad cortex is about in a fair and hopefully kind of balanced way that's for me what it sounds like going into an amp I think some of the delays and reverb sound pretty cool so let's just chuck these on maybe in a mix the distance between these things would be a bit closer even um, so let's just So there, there you go. Thank you for stopping by. Cheers.